Hey there, and welcome to the screencast about how to use a Microsoft form as a quiz inside of assignment in Microsoft Teams. So we're kind of going into an app uh, to go into another app here. So uh, basically what I want to do is I want to um, use a form as a way to assess, as a way uh, to make a quiz and have the form kind of grade itself uh, for me. Um, so to do this, um, first and foremost, you're not going to start this within Microsoft Teams you are actually going to start this in Microsoft Forms. Um, now, if you've never used Microsoft Forms before, it really works as a way to um, collect information from students or really from anyone uh, within your organization. And you could use that data for whatever purposes, if you're trying to collect like poll information or if you're trying to do something like a quiz. So if you are doing a quiz, you have two choices here. You have new form and you have new quiz. If you're doing a quiz, you are going to hit new quiz. Um, and then I already have an untitled quiz, so this is being untitled quiz too. So let's just say right off the bat here is that I'm making a quiz for my class um, and we're gonna call it, uh, we're gonna do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quiz. Um, let's say I can enter a description. This quiz will assess your knowledge of Let's spell that correctly. The Ninja Turtles. Um, and if I want to really decorate this t quiz here, I could even connect to uh, do an image search and uh, I can Bing. Uh, let's just type in Ninja Turtles and see what comes up. And this is a really cool, easy way to uh, get images in there. Let me go to this picture right here and I'll just add this right here. And you'll see it right there. Now, uh, if I ever want to preview what the quiz looks like, I can always go to preview um, and look, there's the image there and that's how this looks right now. So I'm going to go back and you could also see it on mobile of how it'll look like on a mobile phone and everything scales nicely. So right now I don't have any questions in here and I want to. So I'm going to go to add new and it gives me a couple of choices here. I can choose choice, which would be like multiple choice. I could do text, which would be like a long answer. I could do a rating or I could even like embed some like calendar options in here. Um, and there's other things that I can kind of like add onto here. But uh, let's say I want to do something like a multiple choice. So I'm just going to click on that and I'll say what turtle is best. We're just going to make a short quiz here. Um, and I will put all four of them here, Leo. Raph, uh, we got more, Don, and Mike, we'll do Mikey. Um, now for something like this, a multiple choice, um, in order for when I, I can assign points here that it's a quiz, so let's say I want this to be 10, um, and I do have to select the right answer, so what turtle is best? Uh, obviously it's Donatello, um, but I will also accept Michelangelo, so if I want two of them, see how I'm kind of just going on one and one? Um, I can go to multiple answers and I can click two so that if they pick Donatello or Michelangelo or both of them, they will get it. I'm going to turn this on to be required so that kids can't submit the form unless they answer it. Um, and that is one of the questions here. So I'm going to add another question. Um, instead of a choice one, I want to do a text one. So let me write in say, um, why is this turtle the best? Um, explain using evidence from the comics, movies, or TV shows. Cool. I'll put that in parentheses just as a little explanation here. And um, the answer is we want this to be like a long answer, something that students are gonna respond uh, to. So if I was doing like a short answer, like um, I could add like correct answers here, but since this is more of a, like it's not like a who uh, is the best turtle where it would be like one of a few answers, um, like I could just write in like Don here and if they put in that, it would be that. Uh, I want to like collect like a writing sample from them explaining using evidence. And this is gonna be different from this question because I'm going to have to actually like read this and assess what they're doing. Um, I'm gonna make this 10 points too, and it'll be a, uh, actually let me make this a little bit longer. Let me make this like a, uh, a 15 point and we'll have like out of 25. And you can see here the correct answers. Um, 
and in here uh, that's pretty much all I have to do so if this was a two question quiz obviously you can keep adding new ones here if I wanted to but um, I really want to show you how this surfaces in teams um, if you want to like change the theme of it obviously you can do I see anything let's do this like little chalkboard here looks nice you can kind of see it changing in the background there um, Okay, cool. So let's say this is what I want to do. Again, I can preview it and everything looks kind of nice. Um, now, let me go back. And now that I have this created, um, I'm going to go into Teams. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go into the team that I want it to be in. And I'm going to go into the ELA test team, which is my demo team where I've been kind of making all these things. And I'm going to make an assignment. Now from here, um, let me expand this so I can kind of see. Um, I'm going to create an assignment just like you've always created uh, an assignment. Um, and if you need any help with that, you can always refer to my videos on creating an assignment. Now here is where things are going to get a little different. Um, I have the ability to create an assignment or a quiz. So when I do that, I am going to create a quiz and it's actually going to open up Google Forms for me. So if I didn't do that Google Forms process yet, I could click on new form here, it would open up forms for me and I could do what I just did with that Ninja Turtles quiz, but since I knew I was going to do this, I did that first. So now I can actually choose the quiz um, that I want to you know, send out. So when I click that, well, I'm going to click next, and it is automatically going to upload the quiz. It has the points and everything available, I'm putting it to those proper teams, I can choose a due date, um, I could do April 1st and really have a nice April Fool's Day thing it, it titles it for me um, and I could also add in here like click on the link and send the quiz back to me awesome and I can assign it so you'll see it up here Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quiz um, I can go into it I can see the student view of seeing like what the students will see um, you can see it's kind of like uh, sent out everywhere. Um, when kids come in, they will click on this right here. Now, I want to go into what this will look like on the graded end because you can see that just like an assignment, no one's turned it in yet, no one's viewed it yet. Um, and you can see like I still have feedback and you can see out of a certain amount of points. So I'm going to pause the video right now because I want to uh, give some time for a student to answer this so that we can see what it looks like when we go in to grade it. We'll be right back. Hey there, and welcome back. Um, so, as you can see right now, I have one student, uh, Mr. Gordon, who has turned in his quiz right now. And I'm gonna go into it and grade it in a second, but I do just wanna jump back into forms because there was something that I kinda wanted to show you about the quiz, uh, at least that you have in, in your settings here. So, if I click on this uh, and I go into settings, um, I can, particularly this part right here, um, I mean, down over here too, I can like have a start date, an end date, I can shuffle questions, I could even put this like customized thank you message, so I can even write like, you know, thanks for taking the quiz. And this will show up like once they, once they do it. But let's say uh, a question I get a lot with this is, um, how can, whoops, okay, there we go. Um, a question I get a lot with this is how can I make sure students uh, can respond to this more than once? They can take the quiz again. Say you want that feature, you want the ability for the kids to constantly do this. So if this box is checked, it's going to only allow the kids to fill out their, uh, to do this one time. But if I uncheck that in the settings, it will allow them to do this many times through um, the due date. Now. That may be something you want to do. It may not be something you want to do. I'm going to leave it off. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to leave it checked because I only want one um, per student. But I just wanted to know that you have that option uh, as well. So that's pretty much that. Um, now, when I go in here, I can see that Brad Gordon uh, turned it in. Just like with a regular assignment, I can click on turned in. And it is going to open up his form for me. So if there were more students who took it, um, I can you know go in here and, and see it. Right now, I can see Brad did it. So, I'm looking at his answers right here. So it looks like um, for this one, what turtle is best? Um, Brad answered Michelangelo, uh, but he didn't in answer Donatello. So the answer was both of these. So let's say I'm like, okay, he didn't get both answers, but he was able to get Michelangelo. So 
say I want to give him, I don't want to give him zero points, I want to give him some partial credit, let's give him half so he's got five. I can always change this. Um, now here in a long answer is where you actually have to kind of look at it and the, the computer is not going to grade it for you. So when I have here, why is uh, why is this turtle the best? Explain using evidence from the comics, movies, and TV shows. Um, I'm looking here and Brad's answer is because that is Chris, that's Chris's favorite and I wanted to get the answer right. So this is a incomplete sentence here that Brad uh, has written. Um, he's starting with because, he has a subordination in the beginning, um, it, he has two exclamation points at the end, um, he didn't capitalize a proper noun like my name, um, let's say these were all things that I was factoring into these 15 points. But most importantly, I'm asking Brad here to explain using evidence from the comics, movies, or TV shows. The fact that um, Donatello is my favorite turtle, even though he's answering Michelangelo, um, he thinks that that's my favorite turtle and that he wanted to get the answer right. That is not using evidence from the comics, movies, or TV shows. So I am actually going to, unfortunately, Mr. Gordon, give you zero points for here. I was really looking for some examples and evidence from these uh, three different mediums. Now, I could also write that comment back to him. I can say, Brad, um, I really wanted you to see, I uh, wanted you to answer using uh, complete sentences, uh, complete sentences, and evidence from the story, or from the movies, comics, and slash or TV shows. And then I can also, if I wanted here, to be like, you know, Mikey is a great answer, but so is Donnie. Uh, you forgot about him, so I gave you partial credit. Um, awesome. So that will do that, um, and that's pretty much it. So if I wanted to review the next one, um, I could just click review next, but there's really, uh, let's see, up here is like once I'm done, so Brad's the only person who took this. So once I'm done, I'm going to post the scores. Um, now I must do this on each one so that it kind of sends it back to Brad and he can actually go in and look at these. Um, if I want to delete it, I could. If I wanted to print them for my own records or to give to the student, let's say I wanted to print it out so I can like actually hand them something back, I could. Um, but I want to post the scores. Posting scores give responders access to the quiz and feedback. Responders can see their scores by opening the original quiz link. Um, and I'm going to post that. I could also see some cool stuff here that it took Brad 46 seconds to take this quiz. I might, especially with this answer, expect him to write a little bit longer. So if you're going through this and you see kids, like if you have 10 questions, they're all multiple choice, and they should take, you know, about 20 minutes to do it. Um, if you're seeing kids go in there and all that's done in two minutes, you know that they didn't spend enough time on it. Um, it tells me the score, um, and for me, I can review the next one. Um, and I can go in now, oh, in the middle of this, Mr. Montemorano um, has also taken this quiz um, and he wrote down Michelangelo, so I can give him five points. Um, and we could also do and, and add this. He's actually using some more stuff in there. So he is in this team and he saw that I did that and, um, and put this in there. So that's really cool. Thank you, Anthony, for going in there and answering this. Um, so I'm gonna close this and I could see here that he did it. Uh, I didn't grade it, I didn't post the scores, so that's why he's still showing up in this list, but once I do the post the scores, it's going to send it back to Brad and it's going to let him log back into the form and see the original grade, uh, the grade that I gave him. So this is how you do it, this is how you create a form, um, this is how you get it over to Teams and how you uh, kind of go through and you grade it. I know this is a long process right here, this video is almost 15 minutes. Um, but this can be a, a kind of a longer process to do to set it up, but once you get it once and once you got it going, it becomes a very easy way because especially if you're doing multiple choice, the, the quizzes will grade themselves and then you could just copy and paste the grades into your gradebook. So if you have any other questions, please reach out to me. Um, and if uh, I hope you learned something here. Take care.